Well guys, it has been an exciting day already, and I haven't even done anything out here yet. Uh, <laughs> on the way over here, I thought I was going to watch a fight break out at a, uh, the intersection here in downtown, downtown with lots of quotes around it, Newport. Uh, someone didn't yield when they were supposed to, and uh, there was some words exchanged between a couple guys in front of me. That was exciting, and then I get to the farm here, and I start to pull in the, the driveway, and there was a snag that had fallen down across the driveway. So I had to stop, pull off to the side, get the saw out, and cut that up, move that out of the way. And then <laughs> I was coming down the, the lane here, down towards the sawmill, and I look across the field, and there's six geese. And we aren't talking like Canadian geese or anything like that. Uh, these are a domesticated uh, breed of goose and I have no idea where they came from. So as you can see uh, we brought the generator today. Uh, I'm planning on doing a little bit of cutting on some of these beams. Uh, I want to try messing around with these uh, sill beams and uh, getting some of those kind of set there and seeing how the level is on our rocks for the foundation there uh, and try doing any sort of tweaking to uh, those that we need to do. All right, it is now day two. Today, we're gonna try getting all these other little ones that go around the ends of the mill. Get those put in there. Um, we're getting a decent start on it today, so I think we should be able to knock that out no problem. So, we got these beams in place. Uh, still got some time today to do something else. I think I'm going to go over and see if I can't get that log that didn't make it past kind of behind the farmhouse right there before I started spinning with it. Uh, try hooking up to that, see if I can't drag that over here. Because we're going to be needing some more logs to mill up some more beams here for the, uh, the verticals, the upright post for the shed. So yesterday we, I uh, finished up by doing a little bit of greasing on the track loader. Got switched out to the root grapple. Um, back out here again this morning, just fueled it up. And now we're going to head up and see, check on that oak tree that got hung up last week. 
Uh, hopefully it's come down out of its own accord. And uh, <clears throat> as you can see, it's still there. So I think I'm going to try knocking it off the stump with the skid steer. And at that point we might be able to pull it back a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to kind of see what it does as we're working with it. So we're back down here at the mill. You can see the logs right there. That's that tree that we just got on hung from the other one. Got it cut into two pieces, dragged down here to the mill, and we're ready to go with that. We're gonna try doing a little bit of milling. Um, we've got this cant here on the mill that we didn't get around to uh, last week. So we'll uh, knock that into a few beams. So if you recall from last week, uh, the reason that this cant's still sitting here on milled is that we had a little bit of an issue with the uh, receiver for the log clamps. This one completely broke. The other one, one of the two welds was broke. Uh, and the third one was actually all right. So I actually haven't opened these up yet. They're still in the packaging. Okay, so yeah, this is cool. Okay, what he said makes sense now. So, on the old design, this is the part that the, the clamp goes into, and this goes over to the bar that slides along on the tracks. Okay, so this goes something like this, and then your log clamp comes up through here, and then this comes back and forth across your tracks to hold your log in place. The way it's held together is by two welds, both of which you can see are broken on there. So what they did is they changed it to this instead. So this is a solid piece that comes all the way around here, and then it's got bigger welds across on the edges here on both sides, and it kind of connects it all together. and. It certainly looks a whole lot strong, but it definitely looks like a lot better design. So I really got to hand it to Woodland on this one. They did two things very right with this. Even though they did have a bit of an issue with their design on those receivers, uh, for one, they got me the new parts within like what, three days, something like that. And in addition to that, not only did they just send me new parts, but they recognize that there was a design issue with that and they improved upon that uh, which I think definitely says something about the company that they aren't just replacing the part but they're actually coming up with a better way to do it so that this doesn't happen in the future. Okay, so we're on to, what is it, day four now for this video? I think so. So before we get started today, uh, we're going to do a little bit of modification to the mill here. Uh, one thing that has given me some trouble on the mill is this scale over here that tells you how deep you're cutting. That's one thing that definitely needs some work that Woodland needs to uh, make some changes to. So they send you two magnetic things and supposedly it's supposed to have numbers on here and when I originally got it, it did. However, after about nine months, the one, it's got like this clear stuff with the numbers on it. That peeled off and I have no idea where that went off to and then about a month ago, the other one did it as well. 
So I'm going to replace those magnetic ones with a just a metal one that I'm going to bolt onto this this vertical here. And this one is a it's a powder coated metal. Actually, it's a four foot uh, yard well not a yardstick four foot ruler. And hopefully this is going to last a little bit longer. Well, I gotta say, I think that looks pretty sharp if I do say so myself. Let's play a little game of uh, which one of these items is not like the others. Yeah, had a little bit of a mishap. There's a reason that I got the, the forks for the skid steer. That way, you know, you'd be able to get in between the log bunks and you wouldn't bump them and stuff like that. However, they have a weight limit on them and I was a little bit concerned that these bigger, longer logs might be a little too heavy. So I decided to use the grapple instead. Well, you can see how well that played out. So, I guess we'll see if we can't get that thing flattened out. If not, what I'll do is I'll switch that one out with like that first one up there. Because uh, that one really doesn't get anything on it. And I'll work on this thing later on. But first I'm going to see if I can't get it flattened back out. Well, we got this thing straightened back out. I think that's pretty good for considering the tools that I had on hand to work with, but I think this will be just fine and hopefully we can finish milling this log up without further incident. Mm -hmm. 